Hello everyone and welcome to Cloud Native TV. So before we start, um, let me read the code of conduct. This is the official live stream of CNCF and as such is subject to CNCF code of conduct. Please do not add anything to the chat or questions that would be in the violation of code of conduct. Basically, please be respectful of all your fellow participants and the presenters. So hello everyone and I am Sayyam Pathak, uh, CNCF ambassador, director of technical evangelism uh, at CIVO. And today you are watching Magic Search with Sayyam. So basically this is a show where I'll be going uh, live bi-weekly uh, and we learn all about Kubernetes certifications. So uh, the first show, this today's one will be on like, uh, you know, what Kubernetes certifications are, why they are important, uh, what all things you need to know, what are some of the uh, resources from where you can prepare. And uh, in the end, we'll I'll do a couple of um, discount voucher giveaways uh, for the, um, you know, uh, certification vouchers. Uh, it's a 50% coupon that I'll be giving. So obviously to the person who is most interactive in the chat. So make sure uh, you keep uh, the stream interactive and uh, uh, share as much as you can. So let's start. Uh, so Kubernetes is a, is a CNCF graduated project. And today we'll be talking about the certifications. That's what the show is all about. And I'll tell you like what will happen, how the show will progress in future as well. So first of all, uh, CNCF certification will add credibility uh, to you know uh, to your uh, profile and resume, whatever you can call it. Uh, so whenever you say you are CK certified, that adds a weightage because of the points that I'll be telling you. It's a great learning experience. So when you are preparing for CKA or CKAD or CKS, any of the certifications, there's a good learning experience because Kubernetes is not very simple by default. You uh, There are a lot of uh, things that you have to learn with Kubernetes. There are a lot of terminologies. There are a lot of practice that you need to do before appearing into the exam. So that's that's pretty important, and you uh, so it gives you a great learning experience overall. Uh, now is the very important part of the certification, which is very critical, and uh, the one I like the most that it is all in practical mode. Now it's not like any other certification exams where you get a bunch of questions and you have MCQ types and you have to select uh, a one answer, though they have also their own value because in any certification, before any certification, you, you learn some concepts, you learn how things work and all those things. But this certification is all practical. You will be given some scenarios that you will be solving on a Ubuntu machine and you'll be finding the answers to that, solutions to that, uh, kubectl commands you'll be running, you'll be trying uh, all the all sorts of creation of pods, creation of deployments, creation of the secrets, config map edits, all sorts of things depending on which exam you are taking. Now, uh, skill addition, obviously Kubernetes is a great skill addition in today's cloud native ecosystem because you can see the whole cloud native landscape, how big it is. Uh, and if, if you don't know, then I do like CNCF minutes where on my YouTube channel. So I have a YouTube channel like sayampartak.com uh, slash YouTube. So I do CNCF minutes where I try to break down the cloud native landscape. Anyways, so in that cloud native landscape, the Kubernetes itself plays a very important role and everything revolves around Kubernetes because it is a key uh, component in today's in uh, today's application microservices world where everything is running on Kubernetes. And uh, if not, then people are definitely moving towards Kubernetes. So uh, there is a huge demand. Uh, so that's why uh, job also is, is a big point uh, for the certification. Obviously, if you are certified because it's a practical exam, you will be getting those skills while you are learning and uh, you have proven that after giving the exams that you have that skills, you know how to administrate the cluster, you know how to uh, act as, you know, CKAD, you know how if you are doing the CKS one, which is the security exam, which will come later on, but you'll know like how secure, how you can secure the clusters. So you will know how to administer the cluster, how to make it secure and all those things. So that's why certification will pay a, uh, play a very, very important role when you are, uh, you know, uh, looking out for jobs as well. Now, uh, Let's come to the exams uh, and then I'll show you the curriculum and then I'll show you the uh, from where to prepare. And then we'll talk like, uh, you know, uh, how we are going to do things, what are what the plan actually is for this particular show uh, and why it is so special. So first is CKA, which is Certified Kubernetes Administrator. 
now uh obviously this this comes under linux foundation certificate exam you can buy the vouchers uh, I'll, I'll show you where you can buy the uh you know where you can register for the exam now it the cka exam is basically uh based on the administration of the kubernetes cluster uh so when you talk about kubernetes obviously you set up kubernetes uh and you know uh, you create some pods some deployments and you uh whenever you are in some of a tr some trouble you do some troubleshooting uh and you uh, obviously you schedule your workloads uh, on different pods uh, like say that you have uh, four pods uh, so you have a, a, a workload uh, that you have to run on a specific node so you can schedule that using a node selector or specific things and uh, the storage piece is there like the persistent volume persistent volume claim so all these pieces have a specific weightage in cka uh, like the cluster architecture and installation configuration, like installation using kubeadm, how to install the cluster, kubeadm in it, it will do all the fancy things. And then how you know, uh, you uh, the token is there and then how we join the two nodes, all these things uh, are part of the installation. Then how you configure the cluster, like uh, when you create the cluster, you get your all the manifest files slash etc slash kubernetes slash manifest, which will have your cube api server uh, manifest controller manager manifest all these manifests that you will be able to configure based on the needs of the scenarios that are asked in the cka exam i hope i'm not going too fast if yes then you can tell me in the chat uh, so uh, yeah make sure uh, again you have to be active in the chat if you want to win the discount coupons which is 50 percent and it, it's a win-win for you so now uh, the workload and the scheduling uh, so it's around 15% in the exam as per uh, the curriculum. So the workload being all your workloads, how, how to schedule your workloads, how to schedule the pod deployment, how to create them and uh, uh, scheduling to a specific node and all those things comes under this. Then you have the services and the networking, like how the networking is working. If you want to, you know, uh, how to create a service and how to uh, send the traffic uh, to a specific pod and all those things. Uh, then the storage again, PV, PVC and the storage options. Then the troubleshooting, obviously, how you can troubleshoot uh, some of the things which will be broken, and then how you can see how to fix them. Uh, there can be some, some you know, uh, certs missing or, or renaming of that gone. So, uh, like, if you want to actually learn troubleshooting, there is a, a very good show, uh, Cluster D, which is ran by my very good friend, uh, Rockwood, uh, aka David. So you can, you know, uh, go to his YouTube channel, uh, Rockwood Academy, and you'll be seeing Cluster D series. It will definitely help you on all your troubleshooting skills for Kubernetes. Then comes CKS. So basically, CKS was uh, it's a uh, certified Kubernetes uh, security specialty exam. It was a launch previous KubeCon. Um, very very good exam. Uh, the toughest of all the certifications. And the prerequisite for CKS is actually CKA. So before actually even appearing in this particular exam, you need to uh, you know uh, have a CKA certification in your hand, which should be valid. Now. Again, the cluster setup portion is there, cluster hardening, system hardening, uh, minimization of microservices vulnerability, uh, then supply chain security, monitoring, logging, and runtime security. I want to explain these topics from a very good uh, repository. Uh, again, uh, one of my very good friends, uh, Walid, has, uh, Walid and some of the, uh, his uh, friends and supporters in the Cloud Native community have created a very good repository on CKS that I'll be uh, showing you. And we'll walk through uh, on some of the uh, topics that, uh, that uh, you know, uh, constitutes in each of the portions that are mentioned on the screen right now. So uh, we have seen all these things. Um, now let's, I'll drop a, ch by the way, I'll drop a hello in the chat as well. Hello, everyone. Yeah, please share this so that, you know, uh, maximum people can learn from uh, this, uh, the, this search magic because it will be magical when you'll be watching the whole series which will be bi-weekly where i'll be doing live uh, kind of uh, you know uh, uh, solving the problem so i'll be taking some of the problems we'll be solving them live uh, sometimes i might also have a guest with me and we'll we'll try to take uh, one of the section we'll try to explore the topics and we'll explain like if it's based on kubernetes pods or kubernetes deployments or the cluster setup then we'll talk like what are the different tools you have cops you have kubeadm you have uh, another set of tools uh, what all things you can uh, do to practice locally on your system like a kind cluster you can make 
and practice on that uh, more some of the things you can do on the k3s cluster as well but let's let's keep it to you know the the k8s layer so the kind cluster you can use you can use kata coda and also i'll be as also on each certification now that you book recently uh, cncf has announced that you'll be getting killer.sh um, practice sessions which i'll be discussing later but that also definitely you'll be able to use for your practice sessions so what we'll do is let me show you the curriculum. So if you go to github.com uh, slash cncf uh, slash curriculum, so it has the curriculum for all the uh, certifications. Now, what happens is you can see like the CKAD is getting updated and a newer version is coming in Q3. The CKA has been updated to uh, 1.21. So the new exams that you book will be 1.21. I'll show you where it is written as well while booking the exam. And the CKS is obviously very new. So it is uh, 1.20 Kubernetes version, but it will be updated again based on the feedback that has been collected by uh, the people who have taken the exam. Um, and yes, I actually I have done all three of them. So I am CKA, AD and S certified. And uh, so now let's go into the curriculum for each of them. Uh, before that, let's go into the curriculum in a different way. So the, those are the official curriculums that you can read. Uh, we, we'll cover that later. But uh, let's we were talking about CKS. Uh, so I wanted to uh, talk about this repository. So I think this repository is is actually a treasure for the CKS uh, certification resources. So often people talk about from where do I learn about certification? What are the resources that you know uh, I can learn? So first is definitely uh, the official courses by Linux Foundation. So Linux Foundation has some official courses by the awesome trainers that you can definitely purchase. They are well on to the point with respect to the certifications. Uh, but the community has been doing a really great effort in putting up resources for CKS and there are very good courses out there for CKS. So uh, CKS, again, Certified Kubernetes Specialty Exam. This is a repository uh, uh, by Wali Shari and, uh, and friends. So let's see, let's yeah, see the exam brief. So basically all the exams are now two hours. Uh, there are different passing score for each of them. Certification validity is two years. Uh, only for this exam, there's a prerequisite that you have to take CKA. CKA and CKAD both are independent exams. So official curriculum repository, obviously it's again mentioned here, you have to go through that, it's very important. And there are specific number of questions like 15 to 20, uh, not very you know hard number, like you'll only get 15 or 20, depending on the weightage of the questions, you'll be getting 15 to 20 questions. And there are, uh, yeah, an another beauty of uh, the exams. So you are actually allowed one tab open, which is the Kubernetes documentation and the Kubernetes GitHubs and its subdomains. Uh, so, discuss.kubernetes.io is not allowed now it was a long time back previously uh, so you can actually open kubernetes.io docs you need to know how to navigate through the docs find the yaml files do the copy pasting uh, i know everybody loves copy pasting and you can do that so uh, this exam gives you the capability it does not judge you like uh, you need to you know learn api version v1 then kind then what all the spec then all these things Actually, you can do it very simply uh, you, uh, by navigating through the docs. But remember that you only have two hours, and and most of the times, people who uh, you know do not pass, uh, they have kind of a same opinion that uh, uh, we didn't have enough time. So time management is super important when you talk about any of the uh, Kubernetes certifications. That is really really important. So. Uh, you have your docs that you can open, uh, time management you have to do for sure. And you have to navigate through the docs. There's a search option that you can use. Now only for CKS, there are additional documentations because uh, there are questions, which scenarios, which will be based on third party tooling. So there is additional documentation also allowed. So uh, see how, how people have you know uh, uh, created the certification. They, they don't want you, you to uh, memorize everything. They just want you to know the concepts and how things work. 
so even if you know like how how a product like falco works or how a trivi works and you have used that you don't need to remember the complete command you can go to the documentation and you can uh, you know uh, look through it where that command particular command is uh, even same for the app armor you cannot learn all the app armor profiles what they do so you can go to the app armor documentation see the profiles and see how it works so yeah uh, these are the topics and let's let's try to uh, see like uh, securing the cluster like cluster setup is 10% it's basically the secure secure securing the cluster like you you might be having some cis benchmark questions based on kubebench uh, then you you will be having like network policies that you have to create to restrict the pod uh, pod to access the metadata then uh, minimize use of geo elements and the cluster hardening basically restricting the kubernetes api controlling the request to kube api server and a row rbac which is obviously there rbac comes under security and then uh, you know the how to disable the default like how to disable the anonymous auth and all these things uh, comes under this section and then system hardening uh, reducing the attack surface uh, authorization uh, the app armor uh, which we talked so app armor questions can be you know scenarios can be there third party tooling questions can be there minimize the microservice vulnerabilities you have your pod security policies opa and the security context uh, uh, which you can use to restrict some of the traffic and the networks uh, then uh, kubernetes secrets managing them uh, and container runtime like how you can you know uh, run different container runtimes how you can change the runtimes configure them all these things come under your uh, the microservice vulnerabilities minimization supply chain security uh, like uh, uh, the aqua security trivi tool is there so you know uh, the scanning the images for vulnerabilities how to do that uh, image policy webhook uh, how you want to uh, you know only allow the images from a certain repository so image policy webhook admission controller basically you have uh, to know the uh, concepts you have to know how an admission controller works and if you know how an admission controller works and you have done some practice using uh, some of the toolings that i'll show you then definitely you will be able to crack the scenario or the question that appears in the exam now if you know how to use trivi or falco and you have used on a sample kubernetes cluster not even in production but sample clusters and you have practiced uh, some of the scenarios that i'll show you where then again you will be able to solve those in the uh, exam for sure now it's not rocket science it's not extremely hard but it is hard because it is time uh, based and you don't get so much time to think and process it's only a two hour exam and you get so many number of questions so you get only three maximum three to four minutes you know three four minutes or five max per question uh, which is not that much so you read the question you try to understand what the output expectation is then you try to you know uh, look at your keyboard and the screen and you start typing cube cdl apply hyphen f blah 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 but uh, the thing is, if you know and you have practiced some of the things, if you know how to use, how to create a pod, a cube serial run, nginx hyphen f image demo, then a pod is created and hyphen o yaml will give you the yaml. Uh, you can give you the dry run hyphen is equal to client and give, uh, get the yaml, save in a file, edit it, edit the name and create it again. So that saves time. That saves time. That is the imperative mode. So you you should be good in the imperative way of creating some of the resources which it, it is very good and is recommended in all the courses that uh, you know you will be taking on any of the exams uh, so uh, that's what like monitoring logging will be having your falco falco things and and how how that works so this is the list of resources uh, that you will be needing for cks uh, now again, yeah, I I also have a book like Let's Learn CK Scenarios. So this is a book uh, you can buy it on Gumroad. So gumroad.com slash uh, uh, l slash CK uh, book. Uh, so this is basically uh, the CK scenarios that I have prepared. That again, again we want, uh, but basically I want I want people to practice more before going to the exam. Uh, not just like uh, you know the concept and you haven't practiced it you haven't implemented some of the things in a test cluster or a carta coda or kind uh, whatever cluster local cluster so it won't make much sense to just sit in the exam and you know uh, do that so do some practice uh, yeah if you are already a kubernetes expert you have been the you know uh, dealing with all these scenarios you know all the tools definitely sit for the exam and you will clear it mm, uh, people have done that uh, one, uh, a few of my friends have, have done like this way because they have extensive experience in kubernetes but uh, some but i would recommend like uh, take these resources you know definitely and uh, learn learn them uh, practice them as much as you can now what cncf has done recently is amazing i mean it's just amazing that 
now when you book your certification you get killer.sh simulator which is really great it gives you the complete feel of how the questions actually appear in the exam it is much harder than the actual exams so how the questions will appear how you can solve them it has the solutions but obviously you well, have to see the solution at the end but this is key i mean i used killer.ss for cks uh, you know came uh, again a good friend of mine uh, so uh, he he's the one behind the simulators and all the uh, uh, awesome work that he has done so it gives you the actual feel and the questions are amazing and you get the you know you get to know uh, what all questions will be asked what type of questions will be asked and how you can be prepared because sometimes when you go in a scenario where you don't know what is going to appear you kind of can become blank because you won't know okay, okay what there is a question on the left i have to do on the right what is there how i have to switch the context and all those things those things you can practice now on this simulator so now when you purchase the exam you get the simulator and you will be able to uh, practice that and also kim has a very good awesome course on udemy on cks you should definitely check that out i went through it it's amazing so if you want to learn all the concepts now uh, another very good resource is is code cloud it has certification on cks very recently launched course i think in march or april time frame so uh, make sure you buy this particular course it uh, it has everything that you want to learn from security aspects uh, from basic linux security uh, and obviously it is very much oriented towards the cks and it has a practice exams and everything it has an integrated uh, platform uh, where, where you can actually you know uh, practice the exams and the question so that it is also a very good platform for practicing now uh, so again killer.sh you cannot miss that obviously you won't miss that because now you'll be getting that with your uh, exams uh, let's learn CK scenarios is a very good book. I mean, uh, obviously it's just my book, so it's, you can, you can use that, but make sure you have bookmarked both the repositories for CKS and for CKA. So Walid has also the CKA repository, uh, where, uh, you know, all the, uh, things are covered for, with respect to the exam topics that we discussed initially, like what all exam objectives are there for CKA exams and, uh, you know, how, how we can create basically CK exam will be more like uh the basic not the very basic but still you would be needing uh the the knowledge like what the pod is how to create the pod what the deployment is how to create the deployment how to scale the deployment how to edit the deployment how to create a service map it to the deployment how to uh you know uh, scale the replicas how to do rolling uh rolling deployments so all these things are are basic concepts and you you would actually be doing this in day-to-day -day job so it's not that something is coming uh, you know in the exam and you are just like this is not getting used a lot of things get used even obviously you will be doing a lot of complex tasks at your work but this gives a very good base that a person who is CKS certified is able to do a lot of things with kubernetes because the exams expects that and on your learning journey you have seen the repositories have so much learning the courses have so much learning and if you take the books you take the uh, killer.sh and you do all the uh, simulators so you are already practicing you are already learning and so that's why there was a very good, I posted a very good point in the beginning, like there is a learning experience. So that learning experience cannot be denied. So that learning experience is super important. And it for these certifications, for Kubernetes certifications, you get that awesome learning experience that I can guarantee that because any certification you pick, uh, obviously you'll start from CKA and then you'll do CKS and CKAD is also coming up, which is the more on the uh, certified Kubernetes administration development, uh, developer certification. And it is basically, there's no coding, uh, but we can go through the, the, through the curriculum of uh, CKAD that is coming up V1.21. So again, core concepts has to be there because um, there is no prerequisite. So core concepts will always be there. Then, uh, when we talk about the developer exam, the more focus will be on the configuration, how you can configure all the things, uh, how you can you know, configure the security context, how you can configure config maps and uh, the uh, create and consume the secrets because these are something that will be needing uh, as, as a, like I, I give you the application or to deploy or maybe you have an application to de deploy uh, and you want to inject a particular secret that comes under some work that you also have to do uh, rather than only administrating the cluster after creating it 
So this comes under the uh, your uh, CKAD exam. Then obviously multi-container pod. So you you can you want to have a sidecar container, or you want to run two pods, like you want to run Redis pod and another Nginx pod. How you can run in a single uh, sorry uh, Redis container and uh, Nginx container? How you can run those in a single pod? Uh, that that's that sort of concepts and and you uh, how to create them? How to cre uh, how to uh, create now now there's a very good uh, you know example i, I just uh, came to my mind like say you have to create a multi container pod any multi container pod uh, of uh, container a container b that's it so what what can be the ways there can be n number of ways you can uh, you know copy paste one yaml from the kubernetes documentation you can uh, then copy the spec section and add another name uh, of the containers that is doable you can do kubectl run nginx uh, hyphen hyphen image hyphen hyphen dry run hyphen uh, equal to client and hyphen o yaml it will give you the yaml file you can take that add a section of the container that create two pods so there are different ways now you have to unless and until you practice you won't be able to know which ones are faster so there are different ways definitely there are different ways and you can write your own yaml as well nobody is stopping but that too our time limit is there so you don't want to do that so make sure we know the imperative way. That's what I'm focusing more on. Then the observability like liveness probe, uh, liveness probe, readiness probe, uh, container logging, how to get the logs of a container of a specific, uh, you know, a specific container inside a pod. There can be multi-content pod, saving them to a location. Then how to uh, monitor the application, understanding debugging in Kubernetes. Then uh, what is the pod design, like the, the jobs, cron jobs, uh, you, you might want to uh, you know, uh, schedule a job or maybe a job is running, it's failed, why it is failed, then understanding the deploy, like rolling updates and all labels, selectors, how to use them, how to use the annotations. Annotation is nowadays playing a very important role in the, uh, you know, uh, when uh, the controllers and the operators ecosystem, people are using annotation for different purpose. Um, even Litmus is using different annotations for, uh, you know, mapping uh, a GitHub repository, basically to do GitOps, and it, it is very powerful. Uh, so services and networking, understanding of network policies and understanding services. So this does not mean uh, there can be some overlaps with CKA and CKD. It has to be there because there is no prerequisite to that. Uh, and before knowing the basic concepts of pod deployment, replica set services and, and all the architecture that has to be there on both the places. You have to learn them without that. You won't be able to do further. You won't be able to. Uh, you won't be able to uh, create. Uh, another set of resources if you don't know the basics. So basics has to be there. But in the CKS, where, where the CKA is prerequisite, you don't need to, you are already, uh, you know, uh, expected to have that set of knowledge. So that is there. Then, uh, okay, there are a few items going on in the chat, which is good. Uh, so uh, Cherry, RBP, how can, can you please zoom a little? Okay. Uh, then, the experience I had with CK, CKD is you need to calm perfect. Yes, you need and try to avoid create and uh, the YAML manifest. Yes. And the simulator is super cool. Yes. Uh, see, I don't know what, what the name is. So again, uh, it's, it's super cool and uh, you will get it free because recently the announcement was made. So you will definitely get it free. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy like, uh, you know, uh, that they did it because it's a very good resource for practicing and you'll get tons of experience and definitely check out the curriculum. Uh, now, how this this particular uh, search magic will go. Now, this was the first show. Now, how I want this to progress in bi-weekly kind of thing and what all things you'll be learning is super important. So I want you uh, to learn about the exams. So now you know about the exams, basically what they are and uh, uh, what are the some of the, you know, uh, uh, curriculum of the exams, what are some of the resources, what are some of the courses uh, that you can take before sitting in the exam. And yeah, uh, by the way, you can book the exam from uh, the training.linuxfoundation.org uh, training and certification. So this is like CKA is $300. Do look out for the offers. I think there was offer running summer summer 35 or summer 25, something like that uh, on the CKA. So do look out for those offers that, that you uh, can apply definitely and then there are super bundle sales there are uh, black friday sales and the cyber monday sales so definitely look out for those sales that are very good uh so it explains you the exam resource and details yeah here you can see the exam is based on 
Kubernetes v1.21. Uh, so that's where you can check which exam is there. And you candidates who register, you'll be getting uh, two attempts to uh, uh, two attempts per exam. Yeah, also you'll be getting two attempts per exam. Yeah, I forgot this very important point. So for every certification that you book, you'll be getting two, two attempts. So even if you fail in one attempt, you can uh, reappear for the exam free of cost and you'll be able to, uh, you know, clear the exam. Uh, some, I mean, a lot of people do that. Uh, sometimes maybe to they want to take the experience how it is and then, uh, you know, do that. Sometimes it generally happens. But that's why now killer.sh is there so you get that experience so uh, you will be getting a high level experience how the exam will look like you know how you have to copy paste and how you have to write the commands and all those things so you'll get that experience so two ex two attempts are i think more than enough for any exam to clear in whether it's ck ad and or, or s and here you'll be getting obviously the exam version uh, and some of the very good resources like you know the faqs verify certificate curriculum and uh, uh, the the exam is proctored so you just you know have your laptop clean desk everything is there you are proctored monitored and you will be writing your exam that's that's pretty standard kind of thing so yeah that's pretty much it from the certification perspective uh, what i was telling next was let me check yeah so let me see if we have carlos okay cool can you give suggestions to maintain time in ck exam for yeah so now yeah i will uh, okay now i got what i was trying to say how the how i want certs magic with siam to to grow to an extent where you can learn actually about the exams actually about the certification tips and tricks concepts from a single place so i'll sometimes might come by myself i sometimes might uh, sometime uh, might come with a guest uh, like a certified uh, like a, a linux foundation trainer or or you know or some of my friends walid and um, kim so i might reach out to them and we we can sit together so we'll be discussing cuber eddies.io and we'll be going to the documentation so we'll be taking, uh, you know, uh, some of the uh, portions from the certification. Uh, let's say cluster architecture, or maybe uh, you know scheduling, or maybe one day network policies, or one day cluster administration. So we'll be taking one of those. We'll try to explain the concept first uh, in a very brief manner. I don't want to be it to be a course. So we'll try to explain in a brief manner, like what what uh, what is the network policy and how you can use that, even with the example. Then. We'll also do some of the tasks. So tasks in Kubernetes is a very important place that you should definitely do. So monitoring, logging, debugging. You, you can see like debug, debug entity containers, how to do audit, auditing, how to enable auditing for a cluster, very important from CKS perspective, how to debug a cluster with CRI, CTL, uh, get into a shell into a cluster. You So basically how you can exec into a particular uh, pod. So all these tasks are really good. And we will pick some of the tasks with respect to the certification, which are good. And also which will increase your knowledge and help you overall uh, with the certification and, and in, in your day-to-day -day life. Plus, we'll be doing everything live. So like, uh, let me share my different screen. Uh, just a second. Share screen. Yep. So basically, uh, it'll be like, uh, you know, uh, we'll be using kubectl run nginx. So we'll be doing all sorts of things, uh, like the how to create a pod in an imperative way. Then uh, you know, uh, maybe the next two. Find. So this gives you a YAML file. So this. So we'll definitely tell you the tips and tricks. So, so you can see like how easy it is and how can I you know use it like uh, magic dot yaml then vi magic 
dot yaml i can uh, then you know add a container or or edit the name or edit the label or add the label and all sorts of stuff and then create it so basically all these things uh, even uh, cube ctl uh, create and i hope the font is right so cube ctl create and we have a lot of options that we can create like cluster role config map deployment cron job so whatever options are available we should definitely use them in the imperative way rather than searching the documentation sometimes that can take time sometimes it is very useful sometimes that is useful because it has exact resource that we are looking for so you have to do a mix and match it is very important uh, another thing is uh, like you can do anything using a very good command which is kubectl explain so uh, let me do ports so it gives you the fields which are there in the pods so we can you know if if we don't know what all things are there for the pods it it will give you the definition description and um, uh, give you all sorts of thing uh, in the pod like if i do pods dot spec it will give me like what all things can be specified in the spec section so if you want to if you quickly want to see like uh, you know if this particular question is asking for a particular thing where it will fit exactly so you can go to the spec explain that and see uh, how how things can be done so like this uh, we'll be exploring some of the rules i'll be doing some of the demos and and if i have a guest then obviously uh, that particular person will also be doing some of the uh, demos or basically it's not a demo it's basically uh, you know solving some of the questions live on uh, with with you all and uh, yeah it, I, I want it to be more and more interactive more and more engaging with with you folks uh, so that you know uh, we we all can learn together uh, whatever suggestions that you have please give uh, reach me out on twitter at the red sai and you can you can uh, you can tell me what all things you want you are looking for from the show because i want this to be uh, a learning experience from the all the certification perspective and i don't want anybody to uh, you know have any concerns or doubts with respect to the certifications so we'll definitely try to make this uh, a very fun learning uh, uh, session so again um, it's i have seen like uh, the interactions uh, so carlos is there and cherry rbp i definitely don't know your name so uh, you both have been interacting in the chat uh, so i have like uh, i told you we'll be giving away the discount 50% discount coupon so i i pick you too because you have been active in the chat Uh, definitely uh, spread this word out that uh, each stream i'll be giving couple of uh, uh, giveaways that that will help you uh, with the uh, you know the the discounts for the certification so uh, you reach out to me on on twitter please uh, at that sayam patak uh, i am my dms are open so that i know who you are and uh, uh, or i'll figure out with the team like how to find uh, uh, you know uh, uh, do a message on twitch and and things like that so so that's all uh, what i have for search magic so this is what search magic is this is what um, my plan is uh, to teach you live uh, solving live problems explaining concepts from the kubernetes documentation solving some of the task bringing some guests and making it more fun and interacting and uh, Uh, cloud native tv is basically you know uh, running every day and we have awesome shows uh, tomorrow uh, we have uh, raw code Uh, 5 p.m. IST, uh, LGTM with container D, and again pop 2 p.m. Eastern time. Six door root key ceremony. Awesome shows coming up by two of my very good close friends. Uh, so definitely, uh, you know, uh, follow uh, Cloud Native TV. This is very important. Uh, you have to follow Cloud Native TV. Attend. Yeah, every day we are trying to bring a different show for you, so that uh, you know you learn something different. Every show is different. totally so this particular is focused on uh, you know uh, the certification someone is fo focused on uh, the 101 some are focused on the code actual code contribution some is the project spotlight so all these shows are really awesome and run by the amazing community the cloud native community so make sure you subscribe to the channel come again and again uh, visit us and uh, follow uh, the uh, cloud native tv and share as much as you can uh, i'll see you next next thursday 8:30 pm ist 8 am pt and we'll definitely do some live hands on exercises next time i promise you that so make sure you tune in share with your friends uh, and uh, also there there are giveaways that we do each stream uh, for the uh, search magic so till then take care okay bye